And now, the reason that you're here to see, based on Seattle, Washington, the Tilted Thundercats versus your Rose City Wreckers. Our head officials tonight are Melotrauma and Doesn't Matter. Please give a warm round of applause for our officiating crew. Don't worry, they love you. They just don't smile. It's in their genes. It's okay. Mardi Grande. And now, from Seattle, Washington, in the purple, they are Bank Track Behemoths. They are Marauders of the Masonite, and they're bringing the pain train to the splat track. Give it up for the Tilted Thundercats. They are 104 Scarlet Fever. 15 Misty Moonshine. 1999 Sci-Fi Wasabi. 24 Paramaniac. 253 and Smash Away. 28 Moan Wrath. Number 40 Tits McGee. 428 degrees of carne aslata. Number five, Tara Hoedown. Number 57 is Thrace. And number N7, Shadow Breaker. They are coached by Carbon Dioxide and Pandemic. Make noise one more time, Bridge Down, for the Tilted Thundercat. And now, the roster for your Rose City Wreckers! Number 10, Foxy Bloxy! Number 10, 10, Slow Loris! Number 125, Pounds Tooth! Number 2, Drive By Lover! Number 20, Shell put a welt on. Number 206, Narwhal. Number 2997, Jump Cut. Number 444, Force Majeure. Number 51, Alexander Blamilton. Number 716, Manatees. Number eight, the captain, Fleur de Lethal. Number 80, Tiger Bomb. Number 805, Chris Demeanor. And number 88, Disco Funcussion. The records are coached by Jamafist and Thunderdame. All right, are you guys ready for some action? I want to hear you say, let's play roller derby on three. One, two, three. Let's play roller derby! <laughs> Woo! Buy merch, buy merch, buy merch, buy merch, buy merch. Okay, starting out on the jam line with the stars on their heads for the Tilted Thundercats is N7. Shadow Breaker for the Rose City Wreckers is Krista Meaner, number 805. Just to reiterate what you saw in that video earlier, the jammers are the ones with the stars on their helmets. Krista Meaner gets out first. That means she is lead jammer. And a tra uh, back block called on Shadow Breaker. So we're going to have a power jam right off the jump. Krista Meaner now in scoring position, has one to beat. 
Tilted Thundercats reform that wall, but Chris Demeter goes around the outside, around the outside, scoring five. So the penalties go for 30 seconds in roller derby, so that's 30 seconds of no jammer for the Thundercats, and the Wreckers are trying to capitalize on that right now, but they knock Chris Demeter out of bounds, and she'll have to recycle back. Tits McGee just wrecking the Rose Wreckers, but Chris Demeter is getting back on her feet through the pack, putting five more on the board. Absolutely. They're able to get 10 points out of this jam before the Til Tilted Thundercats jammer was back on. And now the defense takes hold for Rose City. And it's Tiger Bomb knocking her out of bounds. Shadow Breaker yeah, back on the track, resuming her initial pass. Trying to hop the apex, can't stick the landing. He's got a long way to go to recycle to get in legal skating position. Meanwhile, at turn four, Chris Demeter calls off the jam. 15 points all together, drawing first blood for the Wreckers. Absolutely, first uh, jam was a good one for the Wreckers. All right. Up next, come to that Tonkin.com, sponsor of our Jammer line, the largest selection of new and used autos in the Pacific Northwest, only a click away at Tonkin.com. Where the stars this time is Manatees for the Wreckers, Carne Slada for the Tilted Thundercats. Manatees has a 4-3 blocker advantage, getting around and through the pack at turn one for lead status. Rose City was able to capitalize on that blocker advantage as they now get out on the initial pass, but here come the Rose City Wreckers looking for points. Knocked down there by Sci-Fi Wasabi. Manatees calls off the jam from her knees, got four more points, extending out the lead 19 to zero with 27 and a half minutes in the first period. Absolutely, Murray. Up next, we've got Moosh up on that jammer line for the Wreckers. Against, is it? Uh... 104, Scarlet Fever. I gotta learn how to read armbands. <laughs> right. And I, well, I'm gonna say her name again for good measure. There is Scarlet Fever, first lead jam of the game for the Tilted Thundercats. Yep, and Smoosh is trying to get out of the uh, pack and she just barely hangs on, but the last ditch effort of the defense knocks her out of bounds. She's only got two to beat and now Smoosh gets through. Scarlet Fever now on the first scoring pass for Tilted Thundercats. Red Rover, Red Rover, let the jammer ride over and through. Calling it off, Tilted Thunder on the board. Four points to zero that time. Scarlet Fever calling off the jam before Smoosh could get around and collect any points. Just good aware derby right there. All right. OHSU Sports Medicine is proud to be the official medical care team of the Rose City Rollers. All right, coming up to that jammer line, it looks like Ann Smashaway for the Cats, and she's gonna be up against number 51, Alexander Blamilton, who gets pushed out of bounds. Thick scrum pack as they get to the official timeout line, but Ann Smashaway goes on through second lead jam in a row for the Thundercats. Alexander Blamilton still having a tough time getting through that pack on the initial pass as now the Cats have coming around and Smashaway looking for points. Paramaniac, a one-woman four wall there in turn three, knocking the Wreckers jammer to the outside, forcing the big run back and Smashaway on the beginning of the back stretch now in scoring position. All right, and it's going to get through. Alexander Blamilton pushes... Pushes them out of play, and now we got some penalty calls. We have a cut call on Ann Smashaway, so the jammer in the penalty box. This jam will go two minutes. Rose City Records have the guns and the numbers. 4-3 block of Andrew. We'll see how that happens after all that whistling happens. Now it's a 3-3 three, three pack. And now it's going to look like we're going to have a jammer swap in the, in the uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon penalty box as Alexander Blamilton is going to take a turn in the penalty box. And now that will almost immediately release the jammer for the Cats and smash away. And looking to try and get through that record wall and drops to her knees once for a quick second. But a beautiful quick reform from the Wreckers and some nice bridging 
and it's going to hold her back, and she's out of bounds. Foxy Bloxy doing her thing. Got help. Got help, but finally gets through for five more points. Both jammers back on the track now. And Smashman goes to the inside. Pirouettes across the line. Stays in bounds. Gets four points. You know what they say, Murray. Spinning is winning. Jam ends at two minutes. Wreckers did get five points on that thanks to a jammer lap point during the brief power jam advantage. Let's bring up Bike Punk, locally printed, eco-friendly stickers, signs, and design. Visit bikepunk.com. So Rose City Wreckers have a 24 to 13 lead, just under 24 minutes remaining in the first period. And as the whistle blows, it looks like Chris Demeanor back out there for the Wreckers. And uh, it's going to be the Cats Jammer recycle all the way back. That's N7 Shadowbreaker wearing their star rematch on the first jam. This time Shadowbreaker goes through juking and jiving, dancing and prancing, getting lead jammer with Chris Demeanor right behind her. Right on her tail, about 30 feet between them. And they're going to try and get some quick points. And it looks like she did. See? The jammer has one. until that fourth whistle tweets to keep scoring points. So N7 got two points there. Yep. Great gamble paying off. That's the beauty of having officials on both sides is they can confer like that and decide how many hips were actually passed. So the points are awarded when the jammer's hips pass the other player's hips, known as blockers. Carnage, Slaughter, and Manatees, the jammers of record at the moment. Manatees taken outside by just about every Thundercats blocker. And in the fracas, Carne Slaughter gets lead status. Paramaniac gets called on a uh, directional play penalty. And that's going to allow the Rose City jammer to get through at least one. But look at the reforming. And they call it off. The Carnage Slot had still had a three on two blocker advantage getting through, getting that jammer lap point, lap point score in five points. And now it is a four point game. Rose City Records 24, Tilted Thundercats 20. Franz Bakery. Franz has been proudly baking in Portland since 1906. All right, up next we have Smoosh jamming for the Wreckers. And Tara Hoedown for the Tilted Thundercats, who is taken out unceremoniously by 125 Poundstooth. Poundstooth runs Tara Hoedown out of bounds and tries to do it again. Can't do it, and Tara Hoedown gets lead jammer for the Tilted Thundercats. It's a bare bones pack at a standstill there at turn one. Tara Hoedown coming in for a scoring pass, hops over that apex. Gets through, calls it off, four points, and we have a tied game. What do you Rose think City. about it, fans? Tie game for you. They're putting on a show. All right. I, hope, I hope all you responsible adults got your beers because I think we're going to have some uh, good old-fashioned roller der derby drinking games going on. Oh, boy, I tell you, it's going to get fun up here in the mezzanine, Murray. Uh, we already had a jammer swap, Rooney. That was one. All right. So here we go. It's Alexander Blamilton jamming for the Wreckers, pushing that wall almost out of play. And there she goes, just bulldozing them out of the way. And she's going to draw some out of play block penalties as well. Rose City lead jammer. Oh, Murray, the whistle's going like crazy down there. That penalty box is about to be very popular. Yeah, Alexander Blamilton got past a one-person wall and now a power jam as Rose City Records regain the lead. Now a 2-2 pack. Oh, rainmaker <laughs> there from Scarlet Fever flattening Alexander Blamilton. But the Rose City jammer gets right back up, keeps on pressing through. Yep, there's only four blockers on the track until just now. Very, very limited... Uh, Limited skaters out there. Alexander Blamilton pushes through as the power jam has now come to a conclusion and Ann Smashaway gets through on her initial pass. 
Another black back block being called on Slow Loris, number 10-10. Alexander Blamilton getting through so fast, all I saw was an Aaron Blur. It <laughs> And Smashaway getting called on another cut call. So another power jam for the Rose City Wreckers as Alexander Blamilton gets pushed out in turn four. And she will get some more points. Five more for Alexander Blamilton. 19 all together. The Wreckers are racking them and stacking them here in this jam, blowing up that scoreboard. But now it's Tilted Thunder with the pack advantage. Is that gonna slow down number 51? A good hit there by Misty Moonshine to end the jam. Four more on that pass. 23 all together. Put your hands together for Alexander Blamilton! And it was a smart call off because now they've trapped the jammer for the Tilted Thundercats in the box. So it's gonna be a power start as we go into an official timeout. It's gonna be an official timeout, so it's really a very smart call off because now they will get probably about 10 seconds or so of, of power jam before the jammer comes back on for the Thundercats. Let's mention Voodoo Donuts. The magic is in the hole. Proud sponsor of the Rose City Rollers and the Wheels of Justice. Hey, let's bring up that raffle. You see our fine raffle volunteers walking around. Come support the raffle, which let me tell you what's in the raffle basket tonight. Totally worth it. The Wreckers raffle. Marshall's hot sauce, kind spices, Sock Dreams gift card. There's some handmade pottery in there. A new Rose Tattoo gift certificate. That's worth $100, y'all. Paper and wheel art cards. There's some, a set of radar outdoor wheels. There's a roller skate shaped Sensi and roller derby books and four tickets to the Bridgetown Roller Derby bout on Sunday. So certainly a worthwhile affair for the raffle tonight. Power start for Chris Demeanor. Gets right through that 3-3 pack and lead jammer just as quick as you can blink. Yep, and now that we have jammers on both sides back on the track, Tiger Bomb laying a beat down on Smashia, and Chris Demeanor is through the pack for an easy first scoring pass. And Smash away putting a backwards 2-5-3 on just about every Rose City Records blocker gets through the pack, making the initial pass, but cannot get into scoring position as Chris Demeanor calls it off, scores four more points. Rose City Wreckers have 51 to Tilted Thunder's 24. Absolutely. Let's mention Blaze Streaming Media. The live broadcast of tonight's spot is brought to you by Blaze Streaming Media. Uh, oh, it looks like we have an official timeout. <laughs> the whistles went and both jammers thought it was time to go, but uh, no, nope, just another official timeout just to get things straight. And it looks like we're going to have Manatees jamming for the Wreckers. Oh, Manatees has some fans. Where are Manatees' fans? There you go. Murray, who we got jamming for the Cats? Where the star at the moment, 428 degrees, carne Slada. Uh, our volume down a little. <laughs> All right. Things almost settled up yeah. here. But I want to give it up to that timekeeper and the sick, sick pythons he's showing off right now. Yeah, that's or, extra crispy, our jam timer there. Or as uh, my friend Dr. Jenny Fever at Terminal City likes to say, the NSO gun show. <laughs> It's quite a workout to, uh, to hold your arms in that position for quite a while. You start to feel it. Crispy's an old pro. He's got that icy glare. Not letting anything phase him. Just all business there on the official timeout line. Not a single smile anywhere. PDX Pipeline, your online source for Portland's music, arts, and events happenings. So
So, Murray, you mentioned that the Tilted Thundercats, they have a, a bank track wing, too. Right. Uh, the Thundercats are the uh, flat track pickup uh, team of Tilted Thunder Railbirds, the Northwest's only bank track roller derby. And uh, just a couple of months ago at Battle on the Bank in Phoenix, Arizona, the Tilted Thunder Railbirds All-Stars got fourth place in the entire world of all the bank track teams that attended. So what the Wreckers are, the Wreckers are the uh, recreational version of Rose City, and they're going to have an orientation coming up on September 9th. So if you want to play roller derby, come to the orientation on September 9th. All right, jam number 10 underway, and it looks like Manatees gets through for lead. Got through that one woman wall of the Thundercats, which is now doubled. Carne Sada gets through the pack at the top apex. Manatees bounces right off a of Scarlet Fever. Getting through for four points. Yep, and that's Poundstooth taking offense into her own, or defense rather, into her own hands. And she's going to recycle the Cats jammer all the way back. Carne Sada all the way back. Yeah, Car into the straightaway. Carney went back so far she almost lost the time zone. And there is Manatees getting through for another four points. Manatees, your lead jammer. Already eight points going on here. And yet another recycle for Poundstooth as she's showing Carney Aslata what's up. Now the Thundercats have that brace try force of power holding Manatees back. Carne Aslata still trying to get that initial pass. Track cut on Manatees, who has a long way to go to get into that penalty box. So big opportunity here for Carne Aslata. Yep, this jam is going to go a full two minutes because the lead jammer went to the penalty box. So. Clutch it there by Tiger Bomb, but, oh, who also followed Carney to the inside. No pass, no penalty. F uh, five points for the Thundercats. Trying to get in on that wall as there is no competition from the Wreckers jammer right now, still in the penalty box. And it's Tiger Bomb that's able to recycle Carneus Slaughter back, chasing those lines. Tiger Bomb's been doing this for a long time, and you don't want to end up on the business end of a Tiger Bomb. No pack call. They got a bridge to hold Carney back, who's on the second scoring pass. Oh! Tiger Bomb with the haymaker pancaker. They're flattening Carney Slot as the whistle blows. And it looks like a team timeout for the Thundercats as uh, Tiger Bomb got a penalty right there at the last second. So both the teams putting up double digits. 13 for the Wreckers, 10 for the Cats. It's a 30-point advantage for Rose City, 64 to 34. And I'll tell you, those two-minute jams, they, they may be fun to watch, but as a jammer and as a blocker, you're really questioning your life choices in those two-minute jams. Well, especially for uh, experienced bank track skaters who are used to only 60-second jams under the RDCL rule set. Absolutely. So, yes, quite an adjustment when you have to go the full two minutes. Kelly Brown. Kelly Brown loves roller derby. And don't you all, too? Hey, let's bring up Two Town Cider also out of the concession stand. That is some damn fine cider made right here in the Pacific Northwest. That's the end of the time, the team timeout. And Force Mugere right there on that jammer line for the Wreckers. Woohoo! Let me tell you all, that's not an easy name. That's why I let you say it. <laughs> all right. Tara Hoedown's easy to say. That's why I'm going to announce she's jamming this round. And that's a great name, too. I love the roller derby names. They're phenomenal. A lot of thought goes into that. All right, as we are into action, both jammers trying to do their thing. Foxy Bloxy goes down, trying to take out Terra Hoedown. Cats have a 4-3 blocker advantage. A lot of physicality in that pack. Terra Hoedown knocked to the inside by Foxy Bloxy. Foxy Blocky dropping back to bridge, but Florida Lethal was also bridging, so now they're going to have to let her go, and now they're going to play some offense to try and get Smoosh out, and it works! 
Smoosh gets out, and now she's going to try and chase him down until the jam gets called off. Big hit by Florida Lethal. Tara Hoedown calls off the jam right as Smoosh got to the back of the pack. Three for the Cats, three for the Wreckers. Big hit by Fleur de Lethal on the jammer right as the, uh, the jam was being called off. Some great hitting out there, Murray. I tell you, they are not holding back. Exactly. Rose City putting the wreck in Wreckers. But still only 30 points between them. Action will resume after this official timeout. Another quick official timeout, and they'll gather up and uh, discuss rules or whatever it is that officials discuss. Also out of the concession stand, we have Bridgeport Brewing, another sponsor of Rose City. Check your Bridgeport beer cup. Three lucky winners will drink Bridgeport on RCR tonight. See the bar for details. We don't even get free beer. I know, right? And, and three lucky fans will. So you better get out there and get some Bridgeport Brewing beer because you could be drinking for free. Guess I'll buy it. I better buy a ticket for the next game. Yes, you better. That's Alexander Blamilton getting through. Scarlet Fever caught behind that solid steel three wall of the Rose City Wreckers. And now it's only Slow Loris to get through, and Slow Loris knocks her back. And Scarlet Fever is going to have to try again as now she gets recycled back again. And they're going to have to rush up to keep the pack. And they do. And Slow Loris tries to knock her down one more time. But Scarlet Fever gets through. But not before Alexander Blamilton gets five, four more points. A lot of physicality in that pack as they get to turn three. Here's Alexander Blamilton and Scarlet Fever both in scoring position. Great little apex hop there by Scarlet Fever, getting four points before the jam can be called off. Yep, and so they're going to keep it knotted up at a 30-point differential right now. 71-41 in favor of your records. And up next, 8.05, that's Chris Demeanor. And Shadowbreaker getting the sprinter start there for the Thundercats. Chris is going to challenge that front. It's only a two wall. And she does some fancy footwork in turn one and gets through for lead jammer. Shadow Breaker going through so fast, knocking skaters down with their gusts of wind behind her. Now both jammers in scoring contention. Chris Demeanor goes through, followed by Shadow Breaker, who gets knocked to the outside by one, two, five pounds tooth. Yep, and that was a, uh, there was a time there where there was only one Thundercats blocker on the track, and they use it to get some offense through, and now Shadowbreaker gets through on the initial. Actually, that was a four-point scoring pass for Shadowbreaker. Yeah, Chris Meter is a full lap ahead of Shadowbreaker calling off the jam. We're going to end that one. Nine points to four in favor of the Rose City Wreckers who extend their lead out 80 to 45. We have just under 12 minutes before halftime. Still plenty of time to get your raffle tickets and uh, look at all that merch on display right underneath the scoreboard. Figure out what you're going to buy. Absolutely. Let's also bring up WSL Leadership Coaching, helping you be more awesome in your work, sport, and life. So here we go. It's going to be Manatees getting through for Lead Jammer. Followed closely behind by Misty Moonshine. This is typically where you'll see the pack speed up, Murray, as both jammers are out together and everyone's trying to protect their points. Each blocker on the track represents one point. Manatees says, I've had enough of the speed derby. Let's just have enough of this. Yeah, that's bang track style right there. All speed, all go, no stopping. Just watch those old derby games from back in the day, 70s and 80s, and just constant endurance derby. Or you can come to uh, any Tilted Thunder Rollerbirds game at the... Uh Evergreen State Fairgrounds in Monroe. Next one's going to happen October 14th if you want to see some great speed in your roller derby. Yep, it's Carnia Slada 
who had a rough outing last time out, and she's got this tough, tough wall of Tiger Bomb, Slow Low, Disco Concussion, and Narwhal. That is a very, very tough wall. And Paramaniac getting called on a penalty. And that is one tough blocker to have not on the track. Smoosh now in scoring position, leaving a trail of bodies in her wake as she goes straight up the middle, putting five points on the board. Grand slam for Smoosh, and now Carnea Slada finally gets through on the initial. Oh, but look at Force Smoosher getting through for four more points, and she says enough is enough. Mertes. Not only five points on that pass, but with such perfect form, she got a full 10 points from the Romanian judge. <laughs> a little Olympic humor there. All right, now, folks, get your Red Bull at the concession stand. It's now served at the bar at RCR Bouts, and we're going to have an official timeout. Now we're back to action. Three, three pack, a Terra hoedown. Season opening, just the slightest hole to get through. Lead jammer, first one in quite a while for the Thundercats. Alexander Blemelton having a tough time with that defensive wall of the Thundercats as they push her down again in turn one. She had a very successful jam last time out, but she's having much more trouble this time. Shella put a welt on, keeping Tara Hoedown in the back, but the tilted Thundercats jammer gets right back up and through. And the jammer lap point for five followed by Alexander Blamerton making an initial pass. So we'll see how long this one lasts. This is when Speed Derby usually starts. They're gonna try and hold them back. Is there gonna be enough time before she calls it off? Just enough time. The gamble paid off. One more point put up for the Thundercats. Six all together, chipping away at that Rose City Records lead, 89-51. You never know how much those single point jams will really add up at the end and really make it a very, very close game. I've seen a lot of close games, a lot of last jam uh, lead Heroics. changes <laughs> in this very town. Yep. In this town, there's been a lot of good ones this year in both WFTDA and MRDA. Misty Moon shines wearing the star for the Thundercats. Chris Aminer for the Rose City Wreckers, the latter of whom gets through on the backstretch lead jammer Chris Demeanor. Misty Moonshine having a hard time getting through Poundstooth. Poundstooth is kind of showing her what time it is as she recycles her on the inside of the track and right back again on the outside. Krista Meaner bowls over Sci-Fi Wasabi and puts a little pirouette to get through, scoring four points. Fleur de Lethal handling Misty Moonshine all on her own, then finally gets some help from some friends. And she had her handled on her own, but now she's got four of them to get through. Narwhal and Poundstooth with her. Here comes some offense. Great defensive one-two punch there from Shadow Breaker and Paramaniac holding back Chris Demeanor on her second scoring pass. There it is. Uh, she was a fender flying V away from a great power slide going through the pack. Oh, but gets the track cut called before she was able to call it off. So we have a power jam for Misty Moonshine and a full two-minute shootout. I think that's uh, one of those new rules that if you cut the track, you have to yield back to out of bounds before you can call off the jam. She tried to call off the jam while she was still on that cut, and she's going to sit for it. Misty Moonshine trying to get through. Oh, and Foxy Bloxy and Misty Moonshine collide. A big tumble, and Foxy Bloxy's going to go for an elbow call. She'll sit in the Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box. So 4-3 blocker advantage for Misty Moonshine, still trying to make that initial pass for the Thundercats, and here is Chris Demeanor back on the track, back in scoring contention. Oh, and Misty Moonshine really showing some signs of fatigue there as Fleur de Lethal knocked her out again. 
Flirt of Lethal and Poundstooth both have been wrecking balls out there. It's fitting that that's the Wreckers logo. Well, here we are with uh, just under six minutes left in the first half. 96-51 in favor of your Rose City Wreckers. Speaking of cheap pops, you can get some at the, uh, the uh, wh yeah. whatever it's called. Nice try, Murray. Nice try, my Concession friend. Concession stand. <laughs> That's Chris Demeanor. I'm sorry, Manatees jamming now for the Wreckers and Scarlet Fever for the Cats. Uh, I fucked up. I fucked up. There is lead jammer Scarlet Fever for the Tilted Thundercats. And, and squeaking through the middle of that pack, Manatees makes the Wreckers' initial trip. So now we'll see what happens as uh, Scarlet Fever gets recycled to the inside. What's she gonna do with that lead jammer status? Oh, look at that! Manatees just walks right through for four easy points. Scarlet Fever scoring four points right behind her. And it looks like this is gonna be a 4-4 four -four jam. And that puts Rose City over the century mark at 100 points even. Oh, there's some, uh, there's some chicanery there on the uh, Tonkin.com jam line as everyone's jockeying for that back wall. Something's gotta give. Well, it looks like they're gonna try it. Everybody jammed in there. Smoosh is looking for something. Shadow she... Breaker jamming for the Thundercats. Drags oh. one foot outside, and that's enough to warrant a track cut call. So we have a power jam for Smoosh right off the jump. Shell put a welt on, recycled her back, and the uh, hips of the jammer came in in front of Shell. So that leaves it for Force Majeure trying to get through all that wall, and she's got nowhere to go. She's got a face full of paramaniac and is having trouble getting through. Yeah, Thundercats locking down that solid steel defense. But the engagement zone extended out. They got to let her go. Lee Jammer for Sujer. That took 45 seconds to get Lee Jammer with, uh, that was a pretty amazing defense on the part of the Cats. A lot quicker that time for a five point scoring pass. All right, we're gonna see what Smoosh is gonna do coming in on this time around. Both jammers back on the track. And the Thundercats jammer back on and through the pack on the initial. So, and did you see what happened right there? Smoosh got knocked out of bounds, but she was half in and half out. She made sure to get all the way out before calling off the jam and not get a penalty the same way that happened before. All right. Deb Counts Tabor, let Deb guide you home. Proud realtor and sponsor of the Rose City Rollers. Check her out at welcometopdx.com. 3-3 three, three pack going against Tara Hoedown and Alexander Blamilton. Oh, looks like Tara Hoedown's gonna get through for a quick lead jam. Alexander Blamilton escaping the pack on the initial trip right behind her. All right, so as Tara Hoedown's gonna come in to try and collect some points, she's gonna run into uh, Slow Loris and Foxy Bloxy. And she's got that tough wall, Foxy Bloxy, Narwhal, and, and uh, Tiger Bomb up there right into turn one now. And Scarlet, or Tara Hoedown's got nothing for it and finally gets through. Both jammers getting through, both jammers scoring four. Just under a minute and a half left in the first period. The first half, as it were. And both jammers are scoring points, taking this wall. Big hit by Slow Loris. And the jam gets called off. Slow Loris laying a beat down. All right, OHSU Sports Medicine is proud to be the official medical care team 
of the Rose City Rollers. Murray, as you know, it's a very, very physical game and could have a good partner like OHSU. And we do hope they are the, mo the only bored people here tonight. <laughs> Absolutely true. Oh, look at that, right through Carney Aslada. Making sure everyone else ain't bored. Oh, but going to the penalty box for a track cut penalty. Oh, both both jammers them. are. So we're going to have a little quick jammer switcheroony, and this is going to be the last jam of the half. Yep, so it's a natural two-minute jam now, and uh, both jammers only spending maybe three seconds tops in the penalty box. Carney Slater uh, caught behind that brace three wall in the front of the pack. Beautiful little mohawk by Chris Demeter to get through on turn four, and now she's through turn one and two, and she will be getting through on that initial. And Carney. now here come the points for Chris Demeter. Carney has had a knock to the outside, recycling back around all the way. Tries to get through, still on the initial pass for the Thundercats. See some daylight there at the top apex, but riding her wake, Chris Demeter with a four or five point scoring pass. That was one minute and 10 seconds it took her to get through on that initial. She cannot be feeling pretty good right now. That is tough, tough time to be battling for that long. Chris Demeter is coming through to try and get some more points. Fakes to the outside, goes back in and out. She's all over the place. Juki there, all kinds for Chris Demeter. She runs into Ann Smashaway and tries to get through on that outside line again, but gets pushed out. Both jammers making sure they end this one on the track. Carne Aslada has a four wall to beat, getting up in everybody's grill, knocked to the outside, and going backwards again. That's two minutes, that's the jam, that's 30 minutes, that's halftime. All right, everybody, here we go for second half action. So after 30 minutes, Rose City Wreckers have 120 points. Tilted Thundercats with 63. Thanks. All right, we got Manatees and Shadowbreaker on the jam line. Thundercats have a 4-3 blocker advantage. Nope, make that four on four, because counting's hard. Penalty box empty. Big pack of 10 right now. Manatee's getting told what time it is by number 40, Tits McGee. Whoa, big hit. Oh, and she draws a cut call again. She did it at the end of the last half. That is Shell put a welt on, and Shell got her again. So power jam for the Wreckers. The tilted Thundercast defense putting the power in this power jam. Locking down Manatees. Gets hit to the outside by Terra. Hoedown, big run back. Has to reset and try it all for again. Oh, there we go. Almost untouched that time. Lee Jammer on the power jam for Manatees. Yep, after she got recycled out to that outside line, the coach sent in the cavalry. And once you get four offense in there, it makes life a whole lot easier, except for right now when she gets recycled again to the outside. Oh, the blocker that hit her had a penalty, but they gave her a cut call. I thought the blocker that knocked her out got a penalty, but they gave her a penalty anyway. So now it's going to be a power jam for the Thundercats. Shadow breaker. Well, back in plain contention, recycling around, has the star stashed, dips on through, hops the apex, makes an initial pass for the tilted Thundercats. We're going to have a full two-minute shootout. Hops the apex on her own blockers, no less. All right, so Shadowbreaker coming through the pack, trying to collect some points now, but there it is. That is Shell putting down another beat down on that outside line. Big hit, jump cut's gonna get a cut call, and now it's gonna be a power jam for the Rose City Wreckers. At least oh. it will be in about 30 seconds. A full 30 second power start for the Rose City Wreckers. 
All right, as the jammer takes position in that Pabst penalty box, the Pabst Blue Ribbon penalty box, bad girls, good beer. All right, that's force majeure coming up to the jam line. And they're going to do the long sausage on the inside line there. She baits to the out. Here comes the sweep, goes to the inside. And she's going to try and skate right through, but has to divert back to the middle of the track as they're just going to try and push them out of play. But she's got Paramaniac, and that is a tough person to get through. Yeah, Paramaniac, a one-woman four-wall, helps the Thundercats defense reestablish there. Smoosh has gotten lead jammer status, but that baby done Ben Eaton. She's got to go all the way back around to turn two to get back in scoring, or excuse me, legal skating contention. Oh, and they didn't even see the jammer shadow breaker come back out of the penalty box, and she will skate through easily to get that initial out of the way, and Smoosh is going to call it off in turn number three. Zero, zero, jam, still 124 to 65. All right, that next uh, wall is going to come out. 26 minutes left in the game. Alexander Blamilton is going to be your Rose City Jammer. Against number five, Tara Hoedown of the Tilted Thundercats. Tara Hoedown, probably my favorite name on the team. Oh, oh Hamilton keeping those feet moving, and it pays off. That's the thing as a jammer. If you can keep your feet moving, you're doing well. Tara Hoedown muscles her way through at turn two. Initial pass for the Thundercats. Thanks to Rose City Records getting a multiplayer block right in front of her. Hoeing down ain't easy, Murray, so it's going to be Blamilton trying to get through to try and collect some points before the other jammer gets there. Gets a hit and falls. Quick little apex hop. And it looks like penalty on Fleur de Lethal. And the first point scored will be for the Thundercats. Followed by Alexander Blamazon with four points as well. Blamilton laying a shoulder on Tiger Bomb. They're wearing the same color jersey. <laughs> Blamilton gets through for four. Another multiplayer block called on the Wreckers. Terra Hoedown uses that to get through for another four points, Thundercats. Drive by Lova getting a penalty call. Big hit. And <laughs> smash away with the Rainmaker there, forcing the call off. The Wreckers are going to put one more point at the tail end of that nine all together. That one point is going to be the differential between these two teams. Hey, let's mention Asha Wellness. Chiropractor Dr. Kerry Shaw specializes in pain management and motor vehicle accidents. That's Asha Wellness. It looks like we have manatees jamming for the wreckers. Again, sci fi wasabi. First time number 1999's worn the star this game. Manatees pushing that front wall all the way into turn one now. She's got four to deal with. Four on one is never going to end well for a jammer, but the uh, offense is in the penalty box, so that's all she can do. Sci-Fi Wasabi sees a solid seal three wall in front of her. That brace Triforce of Power. Everywhere yeah. she goes, they go too. Yep, and Shell lays out the jammer, Sci-Fi Wasabi, and that three wall is holding just as strong as that four wall. Oh, and she breaks through! Without any offense, but it looks like there's a forearm penalty. Forearm penalty on Manatees. She got through that four wall, but not cleanly. So now power jam for Sci-Fi Wasabi. But she is absolutely shellacked to the outside. Has a long way to go around 125 pounds tooth. Eating up a lot of time in that 30 second power jam. Absolutely, the game is a game of seconds. And all of that stalling they do serves the purpose. It's eating up. In hockey, we call this a penalty kill. And that's what they're doing beautifully as this, uh, this penalty is going to come to an end. And now the, the fact that you're tired as a jammer makes you prone to make mistakes. 
and a mistake was made, and now it's a jammer swap. Power jam wreckers. If that's not a full 30-second power jam, it's going to be an eyelash underneath. Manatee is having trouble staying on her feet, and because she does, she's got two to get through, but she does. Manatees through. Yeah, Man Manatees was being sent out right at Sci-Fi. Wasabi was sitting down. So now Manatees on a first scoring pass gets through right as the jam clock expires. Still got all five points. At the very last second before that last burst of four whistles got through all four skaters on the track plus the jammer in the box. And this is going to be a power start for your Rose City Wreckers. Even Tiger Bomb doing some cheerleading. I tell you, with Fleur de Lethal, Floxy Bloxy, Tiger Bomb, and Disco Concussion, that is a tough wall to get through. Multiplayer block called on oh. Tits McGee, but there is Ann Smashaway with the Pancaker flattening Narwhal once First. and twice. Narwhal is not having fun right now in this jam. And she's going to get recycled well, all hey, the way back. That depends on your definition of fun. <laughs> I mean, she, she, she's playing, she's skating. It's, you some, know. some people sign up for this. Has the power jam because Sci-Fi Wasabi going right back into the penalty box. So it's a power jam now for Narwhal as we're trading jammer penalties right now. And it's going to be Narwhal getting through another scoring pass. Five more points on a grand slam for Narwhal. Barely getting by that big hit. Paramaniac was lining up. Yeah, you don't want to see that coming at you at high speed. Narwhal trying to push that again. No offense now as they're waiting for the jammer. Both jammers back on the track. Tiger Bomb for some quick offense. Trying to bust up that wall. And then immediately back to D. The Paps Blue penalty, Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box is empty at the moment. We have We've a got a five-point scoring pass for Narwhal. Tits McGee, the jammer of record now for the Thundercats, making an initial pass. Can't get into scoring position before the jam is called off. Yep. Oh, hey, I forgot. We have another special announcement here at the hangar at Oaks Park. We have a birthday in the house, Kathy Fry. Woo! Put your hands together for Kathy Fry. I will not say her age. Thank you for celebrating with Rose City. Now we have Smoosh Gemin for the Wreckers. Shadow Breaker, both of them are out and by a nose. Number 444 is the lead jammer. Oh, we have some jammer on jammer crime here, Murray. Shadow Breaker's trying to get in on her. Oh, and she calls it off very smartly as points were about to be collected. Smoosh calls it off beautifully. All right, let's mention Buffalo Gap Saloon and Eatery. John's Landing's favorite eatery and saloon. Some confusion for the uh, lineup for the Thundercats trying to pass the uh, pivot stripe on and Tits McGee gets it on almost just in time. Jam Two. is on and here come the jammers trying to get through that wall. Alexander Blamilton trying to get through as Tara Hoedown is down on the inside but a penalty is going to be called on Disco Fincushion. Alexander Blamilton gets through with the 4-3 pack advantage lead jammer for the Rose City Wreckers. Tara Hoedown getting through on her initial pass, and so it's up to Blamilton as now the pack speeds up. Here comes the speed derby. Blamilton's got enough air to spare, though, to get some points before having to call off. At this point in the game, this is where it starts to get tough. Very smartly taking her two points and calling off. 
Oaks Amusement Park, home of the Rose City Rollers and the place to purchase your derby gear. Now on the jam line for the Thundercats and seven Shadow Breaker. And it looks like 716 Manatees jamming for your wreckers. Manatees pushing through that purple wall and through on the outside. Taking a shoulder from Carde Asada, knocks her out. Gets back up and lead jammer for Manatees. They gave her too much room on that outside line and she exploited it, but now Shadowbreaker gets through on her initial. And it looks like it's gonna be a power jam for the Tilted Thundercats as Manatees takes a seat. Power jam assessed right as Shadowbreaker got into scoring position. Five point grand slam for the Thundercats. This could be a turning, a turning point jam for the Thundercats right now. Needing some points badly and having the advantage right now. This could be a big, big jam for the Thundercats. Shadow Breaker going board to starboard. All she sees is black jerseys. And now they're in her rear view with some fancy footwork. Five more points on the board. Ten all together so far for the Thundercats. You know, her wheels were riding that tape really close. It was awfully close, but she manages to keep it in bounds. And Manatees gets out of the box and through the wall to get four points for the Wreckers. And Manatees was the lead jammer, reestablishing her first scoring pass. So remember, that means we are going to have a full two-minute jam. Shadowbreaker tries to put on the afterburners but gets a trip right to the inside and back around. Some very smart offense there on the part of the Wreckers to knock out the skater that had recycled their jammer. And now it looks like a back block call on Manatee. So Manatee is gonna go sit for 30 seconds. So it'll be a power start for the Tilted Thundercats as she collects more points, five more. Shadow Breaker had an easy peasy time getting around that two uh, Blocker wall, that's all that Rosie is going to have in the pack as we line up after this official review. All right, now we have a, uh, looks like an official review being called by Rose City. This is what we're going to call the Porque No Taco Timeout. Porque yes, Porque No. Oh, now it's Slow Loris that's cheering up everybody. Do a little dance, Slow Loris. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to get that kind of a show tonight, did you? All right, as this uh, Porque No Taco timeout continues, We'll mention Black Cat Plumbing, your local neighborhood plumbing company and a proud sponsor of RCR and the Wheels of Justice since 2009. Wheels of Justice playing tomorrow night against Rat City. That is here at the hangar. Not sure if tickets are still left or not, but you definitely need to inquire about that before you leave. That's a double header tonight, uh, tomorrow night starting at six o'clock. The uh, Rose City. Hang on a second, Matt. I don't think his mic was on there. Our head ref trying to uh, give us what was going on. Official review denied. So Rose City will lose their official review. Some problems with the wireless mic there on the inside, so. Back to action, power start for the Tilted Thundercats. And they have two blockers for Rose City trying to get in the way, but it's not to be. Tara Hoedown gets through, gets lead status at turn one. Multiplayer block being assessed on the Tilted Thundercats as Tara Hoedown comes through to try and score. Whoa, slow, Loris 
says thanks, but no thanks. Penalty box awfully busy right now. Oh, slow Loris again. But this time with a forearm penalty. And now it is number eight. Flirt a lethal. Flirt a lethal. Yep. Flirt a lethal and Poundstooth making trouble for Terra Hoedown as Manatees gets through on the initial. Terra Hoedown forced to call off the jam. Only got three points off that power start thanks to the great defense of the Rose City Wreckers. With uh, 14 minutes to go in regulation, Rose City's up 156 to Tilted Thundercats 91. Selwood Pet Supply, quality nutrition and supplies for your pet. Force Majeure jamming for the wreckers. And it looks like she's gonna get through on the outside for lead jammer. Sci-Fi with Stabi is stopped by the two wall in the back. Just finally makes it up to the rest of the pack, but absolutely stymied. Now Fors Mugere getting through. Five points, Sci-Fi Wasabi drafting right behind her on a Tilted Thunder initial pass. So now it's up to Force Mugere to try and force some points now and see what she gets out of it. She gets under Slow Loris' arm like she was doing some kind of a uh, forward limbo. Force Majeure pushing him out of play and she'll get through for four more points. And Coach Jamafist is telling her to run it. So here we go again. And how about five big points for Force Majeure? Sci-Fi with Sabi caught behind that brace three wall. Here comes Force Majeure on another scoring pass, but everybody in a rear view for five more. She's making it look easy. This is a huge jam for Force Majeure, coming around on 19 points already and looking for more. Only one blocker left for the Thundercats. Smoosh gets right on by her calls off the jam. And a very good call off because as soon as she passed that first blocker on the track, she gets all the ghost points for the blockers in the penalty box and a team timeout being called by the Thundercats. Another poor K no taco timeout. Poor K yes, poor K no. So 4K, we respect your decision either way, but please support their business because they support Rose City. Absolutely. A lot of great businesses do their thing to keep this happening and make it possible. You, of course, the fans couldn't do it without you, wouldn't really want to do it without you. You are what makes it fun. Rose City fans, make some noise for yourselves. You can do better than that. Make some noise for yourselves, Rose City! All right, that's better. Humility is for suckers. <laughs> yeah. Other sponsors are the Portland Mercury, Portland Vital Signs, Shebop, and K's Bar. Action resumes on the track. Rose City Records have a three on two blocker advantage. Alexander Blamilton jamming for the Wreckers. Against Shadow Breaker for the Thundercats. And Alexander Blamilton is through for lead jammer and looking to open up that lead with just over 12 minutes left. Shadow Breaker almost got through but then knocked to the inside, recycling back around. Alexander Blamilton just mashed by Tits McGee. Tits McGee had nothing, just wasn't going to give her anything, but she's able to get through in front of McGee. And now Blamilton's going to collect more points. Wow. Recycled to the inside by Fleur de Lethal. And Shadow Breaker's going to have to start again from the back. And I think Blamilton hit her own skater. So no penalty and four more points. Shadow Breaker's still trying to make the initial pass for the Thundercats. Puts on some speed, absorbs some hits. 
Jabs on through. Oh, that was, that was a first scoring pass. Four points for the Thundercats. But right behind her, Plamilton putting up four more of her own. Wreckers have decided to just go ahead and run these. They feel they have a, a jammer advantage, so they're going to just run these out and play up on that advantage as much as they can. Oh, that's just going to kill them in the rankings. <laughs> it's the beauty of not having rankings to worry about. Oh, yeah. All kinds of things happen, and Alexander Blamilton is going to get excused for a penalty. Power jam for the Tilted Thundercats and Shadow Breaker. This jam is going to go to its natural conclusion. Shella put a well ton with that big hit to the inside. Shadow Breaker still juking, still speeding through, and a five point grand slam. So this one's going to end with the uh, Rose City Jammer in the box. So it's going to be a power start for your Tilted Thundercats. Let's yeah. mention the 808 Grill. Food so good, it straight broke the mouth. Two locations, Burnside and Woodstock. You know, the, the WFTDA rankings calculator is so weird that this game is going to affect someone. I give, I give up trying, but it's going to affect somebody at playoffs right now in Pittsburgh. You know that, right? Like, it... It was devised by Cthulhu, and you only descend into madness <laughs> trying to make sense. Uh, hey, I do know that Carne Asada is jamming for the Tilted Thundercats and going to the ADA section. Let's say a fan almost got a souvenir they probably didn't want. Ah, uh, Blamilton back on the track and trying to do something against that big wall. Trying to get through, and she cannot get through Tits McGee, and she lays her down. Paramaniac also doing her thing. Carne Asada has established herself as lead jammer, trying to get through because the baby was eaten. Now we have Foxy Bloxy, a successful star pass as she is out in turn three, trying to get through, and she gets recycled out of bounds. And Foxy Bloxy is gonna try and get through now. But it is over. And the score, it looks like we're going to have an official timeout. Something, it, something, something roller derby. Yeah, that's, that's all I can. I'm trying to do that bad lip reading, you know, that they do on the officials down there. But I don't want to get in trouble. I like a milk truck. I can drink a whole one. So we one. have an official timeout here. It is a porque no taco timeout. All right, we have Laurel Hearst Theater and Pub, the best of modern cinema, independent art and classic film for Portland's movie lovers. Also, sock it to me. Unleash your inner superhero at SocketToMe.com. Uh-oh, it's a dance-off. Dance-off between Florida Lethal. Oh, it's getting fun now. Woo! You won't see that at a hockey game. That's really the great thing about the sport is that they're going out there trying to beat each other's brains in, but... Between jams, they're besties. And at the after party. Absolutely. Power start for the Thundercats. Where the star is, Tara Hoedown. But records do have a, uh, no, it's a 4-4 pack. Yeah, it's a full blocking contingent for the records, and Tara Hoedown has got her work cut out for her, though. That is one tough wall, Fleur de Lethal, Tiger Bomb, Jump cut, and possibly shell, maybe. Or it could be disco, actually. And now we have both jammers back on the track. Tiger Bomb is bridging the two packs, keeping it one pack, and is going to get a little bit of assistance. And it is Alexander Blamilton. Alexander Blamilton, the jammer for the Wreckers, 
Jammer on Jammer Crime. Oh, and both Jammers get knocked out. Blamilton will come back through first. Trying to get through. Tiger Bomb giving some assistance. Back to her feet is Alexander Blamilton, and she will collect four points. Tara Hoedown stuck in the back with nowhere to go. Looking back, going to go on defense, but Alexander Blamilton blasts right on by. Takes some shots from Moan Rath. Yeah, and Alexander Blamilton just has that bulldozer jamming style that I really, really love to watch. And now it looks like Tara Hoedown is going to sit for 30 seconds, and by the time she sits down, it will be a... Uh, all the way through to the end. And that is going to be almost a 30 second power jam for Rose City. Let's mention Bridgeport Brewing at the concession stand. Check your Bridgeport beer cup. Three lucky winners will drink Bridgeport on RCR tonight. See the bar for details. Power jam and pack advantage for the Rose City Wreckers. What do you think about that, Rose City fans? Power start for your records. 716 Manatees wearing the star, getting through. Lee Jammer. Paramaniac can't get through in time on that inside line. And Manatees are going to go around, hit and stick, push to that outside. Big, big shoulder from Paramaniac. And now there is quite the uh, collection of bodies on the floor. Right hand blue. I think they wrote a song about that. Let the bodies hit the floor. And here we go. It's Manatees getting through for five big points. And Ta Poundstooth is going to recycle Terra Ho down to the inside as Foxy Bloxy and Poundstooth both go to the box. Terra Ho down gets through. That's the initial pass for the Thundercats. Manatees on scoring attempt number two. Goes left, goes right. All she sees is purple jerseys in front of her, calling off the jam right before Tara Hoedown can hit the back of the pack. Three on that pass, five before that. Carry the seven, eight points all together. Brings the Rose City Wreckers up to 217 till the Thundercats of 104. Coach Jamafist was given in, uh, instructions to her jammer at precisely when to make that call, and it was perfectly timed. Bike Punk, locally printed, eco-friendly stickers, signs and design. Visit bikepunk.com. Four on two, blocker advantage goes to the Tilted Thundercats. Shadow Breaker wearing the star. Oh, she can't stay in though, and the Wreckers are gonna try and get through. They say she stayed in bounds, and both jammers right there together. Lead jammer, it looks like, is the Wreckers. Yeah, Chris Demeanor got through. A shadow breaker was not on her feet. Oh, but she thinks she's lead. She thinks she's lead and she's not. Chris Demeanor is coming through. She'll collect all the points. And in the confusion, shadow breaker got past. So still trying to make that uh, story pass. All right, we have a... When a helmet comes off, it's an automatic call off to the jam. And you have to be on your knees to finish up and put your stuff on. So that's going to end that jam prematurely. 221-104 in favor of the Wreckers. Over at the concession stand outside, we have Two Town Cider. Damn fine cider made here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so Derby's happening in all that confusion. Carney Slada and Smooch wearing stars. Force Majeure almost getting through, but got that last ditch effort of defense, pushed her to the inside, and now they're fighting it out again. Carne Aslata having a hard time on that outside line. Slow Loris making her presence known. And here comes Force Majeure coming in again. And it will be called off.
Franz Bakery. Franz has been proudly baking in Portland since 1906. And Voodoo Donut, the magic is in the hole. Proud sponsor of the Rose City Rollers and the Wheels of Justice. Missy Moonshine jamming for the Thundercats. Alexander Blamilton for the Wreckers, and the whistle is on, and the jam is in play. Alexander Blamilton getting lead. Missy Moonshine also escaping the pack at turn one. The 4-4 pack is off to the races. And lead jammer, Alexander Blamilton, trying to get through and collect some more points with under two minutes left in this game. Tilt the Thunder locking down the defense in the final moments of this game. But Alexander Blamilton keeps pushing, 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 extending the pack out, getting through, scoring four. Absolute bulldozer of a jammer. And she's going to send both of the other blockers to the box. That Paps Blue Ribbon penalty box is going to get full. Misty Moonshine still trying to get through. Oh, called on a back block penalty. So we have a power jam for Alexander Blamilton. Really only two blockers on the track for the Thundercats. And Blamilton's going to come around and try and get more as that penalty box is getting full. Blamilton's going to get through again. Five more points. Blamilton's racking them and stacking them. 18 points so far this jam. Thundercats now have a full contingent of blockers, but they're all behind Blamilton as she gets through. Scores five more. Yeah, and it's uh, pretty one-sided on this jam. 23-0 on this jam so far. Blamilton getting her first bit, and it looks like maybe a back block call on Alexander Blamilton, and this jam will end. At the tail end, both jammers going to the penalty box. Two points scored by Tilted Thunder. We'll see if any more were put up for the Rose City Wreckers. 23 to 2 on that jam alone. 244 to 107. No timeout was called there, so that is the end of the period clock and the end of the game. Unofficial score. Tilted Thundercats 107. And for your Rose City Wreckers, 244 points. Everybody hang loose for just a quick second. We're gonna wait for that score to become official. Score is now official, so you can go out there and get some high fives. We got more derby coming. More derby coming tomorrow night, right here at the hangar. Rose City versus Zerat City. We'll do victory laps and MVPs. So give, so give it up for your victors tonight, the Rose City Wreckers! Check, and check, make check, some noise check. for the tilted Thundercats. Check, check. Okay. All right, hang loose for just a quick second. Once we finish the victory laps, we'll do the MVP awards. Excuse me. 
me. If I may. I think that one's dead. Is it red? Okay, Tilted Thundercats have their MVP awards ready for MVJ, Most Valuable Jammer. Uh, number 51. 51, Most Valuable Jammer. Alexander Blamilton, MVP Jammer. And for Most Valuable Blocker. Number eight. Florida Lethal, MVP Blocker. All right, Captain Florida Lethal is going to come over and we will give out the Tilted Thundercats MVPs. First, which one you do first? Jammer. MVP Jammer. Number seven. Number seven. Shadow Breaker. And for MVP Blocker. Number 24. 24. That is Paramaniac. Paramaniac, get up here. Come on down. You're the next contestant on. She's, <laughs> She's already halfway undone. 